Hello everyone, uh, we are going to conduct a speaking test of the islands for Sneha. She is here with us and she has just recently given her islands exams. Yes. So here we start. Uh, the test will be in three parts. Part one will be about the basic questions. We'll have the cue card where she will speak for two minutes. And at the end, we'll have the discussion questions, that is the part three. And in all of these uh, questions and speaking, we will be assessing her four levels of communication, her fluency, her vocabulary, her word power, and her pronunciation. So we will start. Sneha, tell me something about yourself. I'm Sneha Mithilesh Patel and uh, I come from a place called Pardi, which is situated in district Walsad and it's in Gujarat. Okay. Uh, do you live here? Yes, I live here, but uh, I've, I've recently migrated to Sydney. What do you do over there? Um, I've got married and my, hus my hu husband is settled there, so I've just moved in with him and uh, currently I'm looking for a job. Okay. What kind of job would you like to do over there? I would like to do a part-time job which is more re rewarding as well um, and I would like to look for something which is in a teaching area or maybe in management field which is my field. Do you like travelling? I definitely love travelling because it's one of my hobbies and uh, uh, I would like to explore the whole world before I die, that's my dream as well. Okay, nice. So what are the places that you would want to visit in your future? Um, I'm yet to visit a couple of uh, continents. That's uh, I, I'm yet to visit states, and uh, I'm, I am planning to go to New Zealand next year. So th there, these two countries are left on my checklist, and under one Nicobar Island. So yes, other con continents I've already been to. Do you like cooking? Cooking is my favorite hobby you can say and uh, I love experimenting a lot and especially because I have a very good guinea pig to experiment on my husband he loves to enjoy my different varieties and cuisines which I make for him so what are the new food items that you would like to try <clears throat> my husband is a fan of Italian food so I, I keep trying different uh, Italian uh, cuisines and recipes like recently I, I've never made pizzas, but I started making pizzas from the back, the dough and the, you know, just from the scratch. So he really liked the efforts that I put in for him. Do you like shopping? You can say I'm a shopaholic, but I've, I've tried controlling my curb. And uh, this year I've taken an oath that uh, well, how much ever clothes I bring in my closet would be the amount of clothes I'll donate as well to keep a balance of the two. <laughs> So, uh, when you go for shopping, how do you prefer to pay, how do you prefer to do the transaction? I prefer using a card rather than cash because, right. it, because it feels like less money has gone out of your hands. <laughs> because if I go, <laughs> if I use the, uh, if I use cash for my wallet, I feel like, you know, a lot of, I've spent a lot of money. But using a card is just, you know, I, I, it's something which is assured I'll get it back. So it just gives me an assurance feeling that I haven't shopped money and it's all in control. <laughs> Do you like to go out to eat? We usually dine in the, uh, during the weekends because that's a relaxing day and a hol weekend is a holiday. So we prefer eating in the weekends. Uh, how do you select the restaurant that you want to visit? Do you use any app or do you see the reviews in the newspaper? We usually go by the reviews and word of mouth especially uh, because of friends. We have a lot of friends who keep uh, dining outside. So we take their opinion so, and we uh, usually go by word of mouth. Uh, do you like to experiment with your food? Yes, definitely, 100%. We love to experiment with our food. As I said, me and my husband, we love to try, taste and try different cuisines. So you always try uh, tasting something new every time. Excellent. Do you enjoy watching movies? Movies has been a very... It has become a part and parcel of our life because it's a major source of entertainment. And uh, we watch movies on a very regular basis. How often do you watch movies? I, I, I think we watch once in a week, it's a movie night for us, especially on Friday evenings uh, because that's a relaxing day. So after my, our kids go to sleep, it, we, we have an amphitheater in our house. So we, so we sit back, relax and have some popcorns and watch a nice movie. Who is your favorite movie star? I like Amitabh Bachchan because 
um, because he he is a very genuine person. He's a gem, and uh, he is what he is in and out. And he has he I can I feel he's a man of uh, man. He's salt of the earth because uh, he has worked from scratch to reach where he is right now. What kind of uh, movies do people like to watch in your hometown? In my hometown, people prefer watching uh, movies which are more patriotic and uh, also which are a bit light and comedy. Very comedy. Yes. Would you like to be popular in the future? Being popular, I think, is a dream of uh, the current generation. Everyone wants to be famous and popular and uh, be known by the crowd. So, what would you be known for? I would be known for my work, especially doing, making a dent in the society. That's what where, where I want to stand. I want to be known as one of the role model for the for being a good citizen, being a good uh, nation uh, nation by the establishment of good habits and uh, good thoughts and uh, bringing out the whole revolution, especially in the education sector. What kind of gifts do you like? I like surprises, but uh, more than gi giving gifts, I prefer getting gifts from my husband. <laughs> so what's, been, what's been the best gift so far? Um, he likes to personalize his gifts and uh, uh, recently he, he, he wrote, like um, he, he, he's very creative with his wordings. So he wrote a poem for me and he printed it on, a, um, on one of our uh, cushion covers with a, with a collage of photos and he really made it very interesting. So it was a beautiful gift. Very nice. Alright, are you ready for a cue card? Yes, definitely. Right. This is your topic. Thank you. Would you like to start? Yes. <clears throat> the most memorable and special day of my life is my wedding day, which is the 31st of December. And uh, though that day cost us an arm and a leg, it has been the most uh, beautiful day of our life and we celebrate this day every year. The reason is uh, we we decided to get married and within 15 days it, uh, we went head I went head over heels getting my shopping done preparing for the venue getting the venue book preparing for the day and um, on the special day I dressed up and I was wearing a queen's attire I felt like I was a queen and uh, the way I was being I was beautifully dressed up and my husband really you know loved and loved the way I was dressed and he felt he went over the moon looking at me. And uh, on on the wedding day, the whole the hall was decorated in yellow and red. That was that that's my favorite color combination. And uh, later on, um, I had a surprise from my fam for our family. They had a dance, and they said uh, this is just a tip of an iceberg. And later on, they had they gave me more for the surprises. So there was a they then they had a parade of. Uh, all my friends coming in and marching and performing different arts. There, there was fashion show, and um, they booked uh, dancers from uh, Gulf, and they did belly dancing. And uh, later on, we had uh, human statues. So they were statues, but uh, when you go near them, they, they they turn out that they're not really statues, but they were human. So everything was just uh, very nostalgic, and. Um, <laughs> I was, I, I got very beautiful surprises on the day of my wedding because it was very unexpected that everything took place within 15 days and it was all a huge surprise because I was, ex I planned my wedding in a different way and the way it turned out, you know, just took, uh, it felt like we painted the whole city red <laughs> and it was an amazing experience and uh, every now and then whenever we have time we keep watching and re-watching our wedding videos and photos and we bring back our beautiful memories. Excellent, so that is 1 minute 58 seconds. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Alright, let's go on to some questions. Sure. Part 3 questions. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, <clears throat> what do you think is the best age to marry? For female, I feel uh, 25 would be a good age, but for male, around 27, 28 would be the right time to get uh, married. 
because they reach a mature for females they reach a maturity level earlier than a men so i feel that uh, that would be the right age so that they can both be compatible with each other they can have a good understanding and by the time the both of them are settled in their career and they know what they want from their life and they can make the right decisions why are more and more people getting married later in their life more and more people have uh, shift their focus from personal life to a more of career oriented life so uh, people f feel that they can get a fa they can have a good family life in a later stage but career has become their priority and they keep working and they feel that till they achieve a career set goal they would not get married do you believe that even today the roles of the men and the women in our society are different due to gender equality the roles have become very much on the same platform and uh, more and more nuclear families are evolving even that is one of the reason why men and women have this kind of similar responsibilities in the olden days female were the homemaker and uh, men were the bread earner but now both of them uh, work equally to meet the two ends and also share equal responsibilities of upbringing their children so i feel it's become on the same platform these days do you think it is important to learn about other cultures learning about others gives us um differentiation of uh, where we stand and where they stand and we can also come to know our similarities and uh, it turns out that when you understand each other you 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 become easy to easy to match with each other you become compatible your unity in, improves and it also brings peace and happiness in the society what can we learn from our own culture our vedic culture is very unique and it's scientifically based a lot of uh, things have been forgotten over time because our old and gen previous generation never used to question why something was happening but the current generation is a why generation and uh, they question everything of uh, why these xyz rituals are happening so understanding the reason behind any uh, ritual or our culture may has uh, brought up the enlight has got our lives enlightened and uh, like small small things like uh, bowing down to our elders it's a sign of respect but the reason why we bow down is uh, the blood circulate blood circulates to our head and that improves our brain power our memory so it's it benefits the elders as a respect and even the person who bows down so the small rituals play a very important role in our life what foreign culture would you like to explore in the future that's an interesting question um i think i would like to explore the malaysian culture because that's a country where i've seen um, people from all over the world come there as because it's a tourist based country so all people all over the world come there so i, f I can fi find a blend of uh, a world wild uh, cultures in one place what kind of family members usually live together in india starting uh, like if you talk about my own family i have a 6 months old and a 90 year old so it's uh, it's like four generations living in one under one roof <laughs> and it, this is the trend which you can see in every family that uh, uh, it's a joint family culture and everyone starting from grandparents or maybe great grandparents uh, with the they live with the grandkids and uh, grandparents are usually the one taking care of the grandkids and the uh, Uh, mothers and the the parents are you know, you know meet uh, working hard to meet the two ends okay according to you what is a healthy diet a balanced diet would be a healthy diet which has mixture of all the nutritions proteins vitamins and that we require and uh, uh, there was a research done that uh, if you add lemon to whatever food you eat that lemon that's the vitamin c is a requirement that incul builds you know that builds our immunity and as well as uh, makes the other vitamins uh, digest in our system so it's very important to have a good and balanced diet and i feel a gujarati thali is a balanced diet because it has salads 
it has a uh, rice <coughs> chapati sabji and even sweets so it has a blend of all tastes as well as uh, all uh, proteins and vitamins that is required on a daily basis right. how is the food that we eat today in our society different from the food that we used to eat in the past uh, it's the current world has become a fast paced world and everyone wants instant food or in uh, uh, which can be a two minutes noodles or a fast food um moreover adulteration has become very common these days but in the olden generation they used to prepare their own meals cook at home and they had more pure food and which was um, also home grown as well so they enjoyed a lot of uh, homemade food though they had less varieties that they used to uh, eat but they had more pure food that's why we can see the the older generation is even more healthier and stronger compared to the current generation how has the shopping habit of people changed from the past to the present in the olden days the people used to shop from the local market and the local shop uh, vendors but uh, these days everyone has become more brand conscious and they prefer um, buying more international products compared to the local grown products so this has impacted the market in a negative way as well that the local indian market especially is a uh, is a, is in a downfall and that's why modi ji has come with uh, make in india and uh, make in india motto and every he is promoting to buy products made in our own country all right the last question for today sure how do you think the cinema experience for our country has changed from the past um, before there was not really many cinemas or theaters and uh, once in a while someone used to come with a screen um, and they used to project with a projector and they used to project the movies on the screen and everyone from the town or the village used to get together those were back in 90s but uh, after that uh, it has evolved uh, and it has become there is a whole revolution in this industry and you can see theater cinemas very becoming very popular and uh, a lot of uh, movies have be, are even going house full and they have premium shows and so it's, it, the trend has really changed and more and more people are preferring to go outside for a movie excellent so that was a really nice uh, speaking test thank you uh, thank you so much no problem thank you so that was the speaking test by sneha thank you